It's time for Real Track. Real Track. And it's not an easy job. They watch movies and they make up jokes about them. They tell their jokes to microphones. Put the jokes into a file on a secret server deep beneath the mountain. Protected by a dragon. We're gonna get to rip those tracks. I don't have a big tracks where the rip song is in. Why you always gotta pick rip tracks? Only rip tracks picks all the tracks worth ripping. It's your lucky day. It's time for rip tracks. Rip tracks. And bam! Right out of the gate, we're off to an exciting. <laughs> They startled the scientific world like like they snuck up behind it and yelled, fluorocarbon gases used in aerosol spray cans are seriously ah! damaging the... <laughs> like that? Like that. Movies used to assure you they weren't true. Nowadays, they can make a movie about a rapping space werewolf and say, inspired by true events. <laughs> Ah, uh, the Girdler was a Batman villain who was really into fat restraining. <laughs> the Girdler. Or as chickens call it, balk, buck, 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 <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. I wonder which double murderer they got to play his bumbling sidekick in this one. Oh, Richard Jackal. He must have been a shoe in for the part. <laughs> right, because his last name's an animal. No, because he threatened the director's family. Oh, oh. Yeah, he said he'd kill his brother if he didn't get cast. Wow. Yeah. Hey, well, surely Paul Manatee got the role because... He mailed the director his mother's toe. Oh, oh Lord. Wow. Just telling the, oh, telling the facts here. Uh, guess they're out of animals. Yep. Vulture, mountain lion, spider, snake. There are four animals. <laughs> Filmed in Todd? That must have been extremely painful. Ouch. Oh, I see a mountain lion. I gotta get back to my house. You better get back to your car. This tree guy. <laughs> Bet I know what this guy's favorite Disney song is. All right, the bare necessity. What makes the red man red from Peter Pan? Yeah, he's, a, he's a big racist. <laughs> A lot of the lowdown here. Ah, they're filming a Kurt Vonnegut illustration. Star shape. Uh, girdle me this spot, man. If I have. Oh, oh God. It's hard to breathe in this thing. <laughs> the girdler. Ah! Laser Eagles, we're doomed! Gosh, settle down. I'm sorry. No weapon. But in case of an emergency, we do have a food truck. We're going to try. Hmm. Ozone layer seems patchy today. Better get to killing. If has any second thoughts, the time to back out is now. Can we get a refund? There will be no right, refunds. No objections. The trek starts right now. So let's uh, pick up our gear and kind of hike on over the big birds. Multiple big birds is also Snuffleupagus's secret fantasy. Yeah, look at that cheap gear. Get some Patagonia, losers. Hey, Steve. Hey, Tucker. What kind of goods are you peddling? Ooh-ee. You're putting some fat on there, Chico. <laughs> yeah. I hope that he's talking about his stomach. Especially up here in this thin air. Mm. Come on now, Steve. Ever since you've been up here, I've never seen a group like that. Everyone just so uniquely Mother, ugly. In the end, in. And the cripple, for Christ's sake. What the hell's he doing here? Well, that's Roy Morrow, buddy. NFL All-Pro. 
Roger Goodell immediately denies that he's crippled. You know that. Besides, we're only going to Sugar Meadow, not over the top of the mountain. It's all downhill for this group. Yeah, but... Well, it's Murphy's Hotel. Things are going to go wrong. Yeah, but hey. Well, Tucker, I'll see you in two weeks. You just make sure there's a lot of cold beer here when I get back. Ah, camping's so much easier over in Colorado. You can just tap the Rockies. All types of accidents up here last week or so. And they just don't seem to stop. So you take that to your mountain. Damn, Mr. Belvedere looking son of a... <laughs> Eggshells seem a little thin. Ah, I'm sure it's fine. What do you say your last name was? Sandy. Jensen is my name. I'm in advertising. Ecology. That's why I'm here, you know. Get it firsthand. That's where it's all at today. You know that commercial on TV with the Indian with the tear in his eye? Isn't that great? Indians don't cry, you know. Chinese people don't believe in rivers. Jews can't see fuchsia. Hi, I'm batshit crazy stereotype man. <laughs> If you paid more attention to me and a little less to your law office, Frank, we wouldn't need this trip. More movies should cut to a bird every eight seconds. Hey, you don't look like you have much muscle there. How are you going to fist fight those wild animals? I'm stronger than you think, Mr. Buckner. I've been punching the neighbor's box turtle for practice. Uh, which one is it? Right over there. Okay, thanks. Going to be a rough trip, Professor. Every doomed tour was required to have a professor back then. I get away once in a while. <laughs> you are pretty heavy for a man that wants to get away. I know. I'm a camera buff. See, my, my hobby is photography and birds. Figure I'll get my fill of both on this trip. First. A bird-watching enthusiast? A single? I'm shocked. <laughs> Silver bullet, huh? Hey, professor, did you get another chopper? A less sure. iconic line from Predator. Hey, I know where I've seen you before. Yeah? You're Anchor Man the Evening News, right? That's Anchor Woman, in case you hadn't noticed the difference, Mr. Buckner. They let broads be anchor women now? Why don't you ride in a second chop with me? Now, I've got a story that just might interest you. <sighs> I'll bet you have. But you see, I'm on vacation now. This does remind me of a rodeo I covered once, though. I was up to my ears in bull then, too. Hey, up to my ears in bull is the name of my erotic night court fan fiction. Bob, this is oh. Isn't this great? I always wondered what it would be like if the L.L. Bean catalog got adapted into a movie. It's gonna be a rough trip. Are you big and bad enough to handle it? John, bad, why you wrote the book on it. Come on, get in. Ma. Ma? You all right, Are you sure she doesn't have to get to the early bird special before bingo? All right, let's Donner party this bitch. We really got to get a movie theater in this town. Ah, yes, chartering a glamping helicopter, just like old John Muir used to do. Okay, folks, keep an eye out for the last tour group. Their next of kin are being real whiners about recovering their remains. I wasn't wiping with a rabbit. Okay, why wasn't this bird billed ahead of Leslie Nielsen? Maybe that's Richard Jackal. <laughs> Now comes that moment, 10 minutes into every hike, when everyone starts hoping someone suggests they wrap it up and go get a beer. It's a model of the we've got a long way to go. And on this very spot, William Shatner outsweated the Gorn captain. Oh, wow. Take a picture. Angels fan, poor dope. It's like the Fellowship of the Ring, but with white people. <laughs> Whiter people. Yeah, yeah. Ah, wolves exist somewhere. Have to be this fast. You been up already, Jensen? I'm gonna have to send you back to Madison Avenue. Hey, Moore. Hey, hike one, two, three, football player. 
How you like to tackle this? <laughs> Looks like we got spy hard Leslie Nielsen, not naked gun Leslie Nielsen. Day of the stock footage of the animals. Oh, pretty late, right over that ridge. Want to take a walk over and take a swim? <laughs> Do I get an exclusive on that invitation, or shall I broadcast it to the rest of the group? Forget it. Already my feet are killing me. A Danny Boom, I'm not. Danny Boom? Huh, must be some of that young new mother slang. <laughs> yes, my name's Berenstain, and no, I never spelled it with an E. Hey, lion, ready to rise up? Piss off. Maybe later is the vibe I'm getting, right? Meanwhile, there's a chubby dude at a Renfest who's assuring the crowd his falcon is coming back any minute now. Uh, little beans in there. Hmm. Gotta get these pine cones ready for meal time at Camp Krusty. See him? See him down there? <laughs> hey, y'all quit laughing at my cooking, huh? People in Whole Foods pay 40 bucks each for these cones. <laughs> Miss Goodwin, drink it for Christ's sakes, don't bathe in it, ma'am. But this is pond water, it's not treated yet. I said drink it! <laughs> like I need this. I'd give anything for it to flatten itself on a window pane. Dunk. You sure you can hold me now? Yes, I'm sure. Whoa, grab the little ornithologist there. <laughs> That's going to be beautiful. A bird out here in nature? No, this isn't right. This isn't right at all. You see something, Mr. Santee? Felt like Daniel Snyder just walked across my grave. <laughs> I don't know. There's no sound. <laughs> just all Indian medicine man making jokes. Like back in the reservation, eh, Kimisabe? <laughs> Good Lord, was his brother General Custer? Jeez, from Don't Call Me Shirley to Quit Whining About the Trail of Tears. Buff Mo Green wants some answers. <gasps> oh no, some sort of demic. <laughs> the owl doesn't care about the environment. He's just cranky because it's past his bedtime. Others said they'd follow. Thought there'd be a swarm by now. <laughs> Guy said he'd be right behind me, you dicks. <laughs> My lower to mid-sized TV market hotness. I've never seen anything like it. Neither have I. There were like 50 birds, and then they just disappeared. It's crazy. Is that normal? I mean, what just happened? There's no news story here, Miss Anka lady. Now there's nothing to worry about. He also told worried people on the Titanic to, you know, take a chill pill. All right. It's a falcon doing his impression of Snoopy doing his impression of a vulture. Load up. You won this round, humans, but I still pee and poop out of the same hole. <laughs> Victory. Meanwhile, back in town, an angry badger has just robbed the liquor store. The birds perched on that line will get their real revenge on his windshield. Same hole, loser. <laughs> Oh, ate a whole can of aerosol bologna. No regrets. 
Yeah. Hello, dog. That's his favorite bootleg Sanrio character. Be friendly, huh? Don't go attacking any kids now, mysterious, unsupervised, vicious dog. <laughs> Rascal. Give me a size and a beer, will you, huh? Sure. That's a combination of words that I, as well as the audience, understand. Size. It's a weird day. The sun drills right through you, and it ain't even hot. Well, let's get to the strip poker, guys. Are we going to get through all that? Let me tell you. We've been catching rainwater in the sieve around here for the past week, ain't we? Well, it ain't over yet. Here's your beer and whatever the hell a size is. Thank you, Susie. Got a report on a couple of bear snake bites. It came right at them. Wait, there are bear snakes? Why the hell do we just waste 15 minutes on birds? It's weird, huh? God sent a plague down on us because we're just a bunch of no good fellas. You sure are that, Sam. No, really. I got three dead hookers in my basement. Oh, Sam. The harmful effects of the sun's radiation. Got a pair of queens here. Oh, oh, oh. Listen to this. I've been hearing that ozone crap all day. Yeah, most hard scrabble redneck bars keep the afternoon news on at 90 decibels. In the atmosphere. A White House bullet like that Martian attack hoax we heard on the radio a long time ago, ain't it? Yeah, I remember. Maggie hoarded up 12 quarts of garlic dill pickles under her bed, just in case they attacked the house. And they weren't for eating, they was for pleasuring. The nation will be released later on this evening. Although the effect on living organisms is not yet known, people are being advised to remain indoors whenever possible, especially those in high altitude areas where the sun's rays would be naturally stronger. Such as seals. Reports from all over the world are flooding in. We'll bring you further bulletins on this situation as it continues to develop. Jesus. This is the best damn size I've ever tasted. Told you that sun seemed damn peculiar today. Susie, give me a piece of pineapple pie and dump some ice cream on it. Sir, you, you can't just make up fake desserts. We're still trying to figure out what you ordered for lunch. Dump some ice cream on it. Behold, Earth's stratosphere, the most villainous of all atmospheric spheres. John, stop throwing those rocks. Uh, Your mom's going to get mad at you throwing those rocks. I hit him. Words not spoken by a Cleveland Browns quarterback in many a year. What well, would you look at that? A veritable smorgasbord of disaster movie stereotypes. Am I blessed or what? Made this hike a dozen times. Nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. Way more chill Boy Scout motto than be prepared. Sheriff came this way after eating a gallon of Frito pie and a baked lutefisk. Oh, yeah, there's hey, Sheriff scattered around. I just heard something weird. Yeah, well, don't bother me now, John. I don't know what I'm doing up this godforsaken mountain anyway. Give me your father's job. That's a joke. Kind of hard growing up, huh, son? She's always doing that. She's always channeling uh, you know, Estelle Costanza. Uh, sometimes it can be pretty foolish. Jeez, why don't you take the point and I'll try to keep up with you, okay? Okay, Mr. Santee. But if I go too fast for you, you just hold her. I'll slow down. Okay. <laughs> God, I hope that tiger trap is still up there. Close it up. That's right, close it up. These vultures have planned such a kick-ass surprise party for these guys, it's hard to stay quiet. Would somebody paint me soaring majestically on the hood of a Camaro already? Wow. Well, look at this. It's like a house, but smaller and flappy. Well, 
looks like no one's home. Yep, the first thing you think when you see a burning campfire and full coffee mugs, no one's home. Yeah, it does seem strange. Yeah, they're probably off hunting, fishing, hiking, or something. Wonder who they are. I'm going to go out on a limb well, here and, uh, and say campers. They'll be back before long. <laughs> Interesting you know, theory. this whole walking thing is crazy. Would sane people walk all the way to the top of a mountain to set up a tent to walk around some more? Crazy. You'll get used to it, Mom. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow you'll be doing as good as I am. I only fell off the mountain four times. I'm thinking we'll make camp right over there. They might not like it, our invading their privacy like this. Like it? Why, they're going to love it. Fun loving group like us. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's go smear feces on some punchy sticks. Hmm. All right, animals, any time now. Really? Hey, okay, now let's do liquid swords. I think it's best we keep the fire up tonight and close the guard. You really think it's that serious? Well, I don't know. Something strange in the woods, and I don't know what it is. If I didn't know better, I'd say it had something to do with man made chemical ozone depletion. Well, could you do me a favor, Saint T? Could you kind of keep this to yourself for a while? We don't really know what's going on in. Well, these city folks. What with their fancy Madison Avenue harmonicas and all. Okay, I'll share the watch with you tonight. Wake me at 2 30, and don't worry. Nobody's going to know anything right now. Like most moderate backpacking trips, they have two night watchmen. I don't know, I've had seven secretaries in my office in the last year, and there's something wrong with each one of them. Ah, the California Angels. Such an uncomplicated, natural-sounding team name. I hope it never changes. <laughs> John! John, stop throwing those rocks! John, you'll get lost, do you hear me? Hear you? Lady Greenland's John, deaf community can hear you. I'll take you home. John, get back here. You stop throwing rocks or I scalp you. <laughs> oh, good. Now it's ensemble racism. You. I don't know what I'm doing here anyway. I should be in Beverly Hills where any civilized person would be. Iron Eyes Cody is ready to sue if he sees a single tear. Mrs. Goodwin, he's a good boy. All he needs is guidance. Shove a bit and bridle in his mouth. I'll try. It's not easy being a mother and a father. Mr. Santee, a boy should have a father. He really needs somebody he can talk to. What do I know about the woods and the hiking? I mean, sure, I served three combat tours in Nam, but what do I know? You know where his father is right now? Some Beverly Hills cocktail party pulling off another one of his big deals. The problem is yours, Mrs. Goodwin, not your husband's. In fact, I feel confident blaming you for you know, almost anything. Boy. My father couldn't wait to get off the reservation. He even changed his name to Mr. White. I spent half my life living as Mr. White. Took part in one hell of a jewel heist. Really, Daniel Santee. Now, my mother spent all that time thinking it was my father's job to bring me up. Don't make the same mistake. Don't raise a wise old Indian guide. Do you know, when I, I left his father, I thought, you know, everything would be easy. We'd, we'd have fun together. He'd throw rocks and I'd use my voice to bring down it's passing different. aircraft. I want different things. The boy's himself, Mrs. Goodwin. Guide him. Don't force him. Instead, sprinkle dexedrine on his apple jacks. Mm. Sorry, just had to go wipe my glasses in private. <laughs> Still not done. Wait, wait. Excuse me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, excuse me. Might I suggest that we get some sleep? We have a lot of walking to do in the morning. Good idea. Thank you. Want to take a walk in the willows, my little chickadee? Oh, God, that's yes, bad. W.C. Fields impersonations. Nature's most yeah. powerful prophylactic. Reminds me of a couple I once knew. Yeah. Let's just hope he doesn't find any law books to cuddle up with at night. Ooh. 
Excuse me, can I have my sleeping bag? Hey, it's all warm from your wife's irreconcilable bitterness. This is my driftwood. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Who says I owe Hedwig child support? Meanwhile, Canteen Boy is rubbing oil on his Scoutmaster's chest. Butchered that third verse of Kumbaya, it's eating me up. <sighs> well, time to shoehorn a romance into this pile of crap. <laughs> well, hey there, tall, dark, and vaguely Lee Majors ish. I still can't help but wonder where these people are. Oh, I know, I know. You said they probably just wandered off too far to get back by dark. I still don't understand why you stole their underwear, though. I'm a reporter. Now, I don't know if the others noticed it or not. But the only thing missing around here to make the mystery complete are untouched mugs of steaming coffee. Yeah, with an imagination like that, should have been a novelist. One of them magical realist fellers I got down in that South America. Who's that? Well, first, I was sent to college to become something practical. Particle physics with a minor in transportation engineering. So what happened? I had an affair with the journalism professor. The affair was a dud, but the course was terrific. We got stickers for good penmanship. <laughs> well, now... Yes, you know what you should do. Uh, yeah. What? Well, you ought to take my course, Vance Woodlawn. Well, Buck, I tell you, you know, after the professor, I swore off instructors for life. Except for the video professor, he's hot. Ah, don't ask me about Tootsie Pops. It's not fun anymore. And I'm hungry like the me. <laughs> Ooh, the hell keeps filming me. What's Phil up to? That eh, beats me. He's he's a weirdo. No! Oh, why did I put on my liverwurst-infused facial mask? Take it easy, take it easy. She'll be all right. She'll be all right. First order of business when someone's badly mauled by a wild animal, tell them to calm the f down, you idiot. Oh, honey. <laughs> it was pretty funny, actually. What? A wolf was eating my face. I know. <laughs> you look so silly. Oh. Ah, Count Floyd is broadcasting tonight. All right, now we're going to head directly to the food drop area. You and Manny, you can take most of the supplies. Except the Gogurt. That's my personal stash. They'll call in a chopper and get you on downtown. Great. Now take this map and don't take any shortcuts. Here, take that. You got the matches? Yeah, I got them. Now build a fire every night and sleep sitting up. Keep her very close to you. If you can, try to find caves to sleep in. No animals go in caves. You don't think... He doesn't think anything. Now the animal might have been sick, that's all. You just make it. Remember... Don't leave it alone five minutes, okay? I won't. Do as we tell you and keep going, okay? Okay. Say, it seems like I should get at least some of my money back. Well, since, best uh... of luck surviving this. See ya. Uh, uh, 
You get up to that uh, ranger station. You tell him to send that chopper up and kind of buzz us. Just for the hell of it, all right? Okay. I like to prank him by spelling out you're no airwolf in big rocks. You ready? You're going to be fine. These people say things will be fine more than that cartoon dog in the burning coffee shop. <laughs> Frank, she's still pretty weak. Don't push her too hard, okay? I'll take good care of her. I know you will. I trust you implicitly, guy I met yesterday. You two are going to be all right. Let's go, honey. Bye. Bye, decoys. I mean, friends. All right, let's pack it up. Pull back further to reveal they've actually been climbing the Matterhorn at Disneyland the whole time. Oh, yeah. I, I think she was more frightened than anything else. And, you know, mutilated by a possibly rabid wolf. It's no I big deal. I scarred for life. No. I, I think that's part of the reason that Steve let them go back down. So that she could get proper medical attention, and there wouldn't be any scarring. And if there is, she can so, always haunt the rafters of an opera house or something. There's always a bright side. I mean, you never should have got your tail out of the La Costa Spa. Hey, you watch your mouth. Give me that. Oh. Thank you. And he tosses it right off a cliff. Whoosh. That was a very nice thing to do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think it was last night? Wolf? Coyote? Muskrat? Fish? I don't know. Hey, anyone see William Shatner? Or... Or did I show up to the wrong 70s eco horror movie? I'm beginning to think this whole thing is crap. There's no food, no weapons business. Live with nature, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, I agree. Terrible, ho, 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 ho. I'm about the city, Sonny. I'm talking about out here where you can die from starvation. Or be eaten by big teeth when you don't have protection. It's all right, Mr. Jensen. We survive without weapons. Extreme sarcasm is all we need. You'll provide us for you. Yeah, I know. You scratch a moss off the rocks. I made a TV commercial about that once. You did? Hey, Jensen. For what? I have to take this. It's better protection. Uh, me no need spear. Me mighty warrior. What's the matter? <laughs> Can't you talk plain? That actor's terrible Come at on, comedy. I'm yeah. kidding. You're an Indian, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Come on, I'm just making a little joke, uh, Kimasabi. <laughs> very funny. No, it's not funny. Hey, it's one of my Twitter followers. You don't need a spear, fella. You need a cane. Well, at least they know for sure who to kill and eat if it comes to that. <laughs> Let's dress up in a grandma's clothes. But to trick Little Red Riding Hood? Uh, sure, sure, that, whatever. Hey, wolves, I doubt you have the lung capacity to blow down an entire pig's house. Yeah, I tell it like it is. Maybe if they see I'm a good boy, they'll give me a ham sandwich. Watch yourself. The booty gets pretty loose around here. Or is that chicken salad I smell? Mmm. It's cool to see that animals actually do just hang out cross species. The New Zoo Review was not lying to us after all. And because today is such a total stinker, they run into the Hills Have Eyes family. <laughs> Whoopsie. It's always something. Hawk! Lord. Hawks! <laughs> oh, good old Robert Loggia. He knew it just didn't matter. No. Wait, they're all over the place. Well, just try not to look like a vole, honey. Come 
Uh, you gotta say the secret password to get by. Okay, I don't know. Let me see. Is it bird? Whoa, yes, you're you're good. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't sing Rissledy Rossledy. That enrages them. Careful as I clumsily drag you down. They're following us. Why? Why would they do that? It's all right. It's all right. We'll be okay. Are you sure you know what the words okay and fine mean? The <laughs> <laughs> bird screech causing me to pratfall. What do they want with us? What the hell do they want with us? Listen to me. We're gonna make it out of here in one piece. You gotta pull yourself together. You understand? We got a long way to go. Not that long. <laughs> Trust us. <laughs> Murder. Jesus, I knew it. Come on, come on. Let me help you out. There's nothing gonna hurt you. Come on. Get away! Get your hands away! Your hands are birds in disguise. I know they are. <laughs> God, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> All right, David, get up yourself. Get up and move before these damn birds eat your eyes out. Come on! You had to go right to eye-eating, didn't you? See, that's why I hate you! We hate him too, honey. <laughs> My scrunchie! No, please, not the eyes. I don't want my husband to be right. No animals were harmed in the making of this movie. Many, many actors were, though. All of them, really. <laughs> Gollum, falling with the ring, glances over and says, Boy, that looks fake. Oh, death is sad, but her fall was hilarious. Mandy! I'm not dead. Will help, maybe? Guess not, huh? Still hate you! All right, let's keep together. It ain't far. I know you're tired. Unlike me, bursting with energy and life. Hey, Mom? Yes, sir. You just have a word on the radio. Oh, no, it's Prairie Home Companion. Destroy the radio immediately. Wait a minute. Well, here, don't give it to me, John. Mom. I can do it's it. my radio. Mom! Give it to me. Wait a minute, Mom. Mom, I'll turn it. Mom. John! As shocking a plot development as the Blair Witch Project's kicking the map in the river scene. They're talking about ozone radiation and everybody's getting out of the high altitudes. John, look, was it a, a program or, or a play or what? No, it was a yeah, yeah, it was a play, a radio production of Antigone where she's fighting the ozone layer. What is wrong with you? Ah, <laughs> uh, great. Well, maybe we can uh, dry the connections. Hey, hot shot, we're out of food. So I'll be eating that radio. I know. Well, where's that food that's supposed to be around here? It's up ahead. You say. That's right. Mm, their divorce was rough going. You hear that? Hotshot says there's food up ahead. That's if he's reading his map right. <laughs> well, what the hell? Let's get going. I'm hungry. OK, Mr. Jensen. Get your ass in gear and let's go. I wonder, is his ass an automatic or a manual? <sighs> Please, I don't want to cool. think of Leslie Nielsen's ass transmission. Hey, Jeff. Morning, Pete. Hey, Pete. Go to hell, Jeff. Oh. Where's my money, Jeff? Jeff sucks. Pass it on. Oh. I can't believe I passed on Grizzly Man to be in this. Whoa. 
Whew. So glad I ditched her body after the first mile. I mean, I loved her and all, but she'd really packed down the LBs in the last few years. <laughs> man, oh man. Terrible way to catch a fish. Mama! Mama! Five bucks, it's yours. Oh. Hey, kid, listen. Do you have any beer? Really struggling to ford the six inch deep stream. <laughs> Look, I'm guessing you're a total hallucination, so I want to thank you for not assuming the form of Rob Schneider. Little girl, who are you? What's your name? I am Tlaloc, Incan god of watery death. Your parents are... are they here? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Well, possibly in this dumb story. <laughs> no, Fair point. Of course they're not. Of course they're not. Hey, here's something to eat. Some dried mouse. Come on, take it. <laughs> do you like that little trick I totally meant to do? Me and my trained hawk, uh, uh, Harvey the hawk. <laughs> Good job, Harvey. Yeah, we did a fun trick. <laughs> Co-workers who are going to have to hear how everyone well, got in touch with their inner selves are the real there victims it is. here. Let's go get it. All right, now let's take it easy. Let's go twist an ankle. I'm right so behind you. Get it, now, just to warn you, our food supply is whatever we can buy cheap that week, so it's a big pallet of canned okra and nothing else. <laughs> I knew Mr. Buckner knew what he was doing. Mr. Buckner, look. Yogi Bear, you bastard. There's nothing here, but... Garbage! Garbage! <laughs> Didn't anybody plan one damn thing Love for the... Ooh! There's a half Triscuit we can split. How about it, Buckner? We got our asses in gear. Is this what you call a food supply? Just calm down, Mr. Jensen. Just calm down. Can you stop screaming? I'm hungry. Don't worry, Johnny. We'll find something. This is just terrific. Animals biting people and no food. What do you suggest we do now, Hatchet? One thing for sure. A lot of well-fed animals running around. That's got to turn you know, someone on, right? So Fat animals? Something to do with it. I, I don't know what it is, but I feel it. Like what? Like an overworked imagination, which we don't need right no, now. No, 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 no. It's not my imagination. It's what not like my affair with my Mr. Imagine. Clean. Look, like I just said, great, there's no food. And mighty animal spirits are stalking the land. Now, what the hell are we going to do? In the first place, nothing's going to happen. Not as long as we stay together. And everyone starts eating their own clothes. Thank you, Mandy. They ought to get down to that ranger station sometime today. There ought to be help up here. I first like the latest. Well, that's fine, but what do we do? I mean, do we stay here and move on? What? Look, I never made it past the wee belows. We move on. All right? There's one thing. Now, we got to act like we got no one but ourselves. Get us down off this mountain. Now, hold on just a minute, Hotshot. Got a pop quiz for the Hotshot? Well, I think it's a big <laughs> mistake for us to go wandering away from here. Yeah. And maybe it just lessens the chances of us getting picked up. <laughs> so, we go out there and get stuck in the middle of nowhere. And you haven't been right so far, Hotshot. Leslie Nielsen is getting paid <laughs> by the Hotshot. I can speak with empty head. We've been stuck in the middle of nowhere ever since those copters dropped us off. Listen, Kimo Sabi, those copters brought this food here. They know where this place is. It's a point in his goddamn mouth. Hey, wait a minute. Kimo so Sabi's acting know. like a real hot shot. Just sit tight. Find whatever food we can around here. Smart boy. All right, the debate's over. Diet Dr. Around. Pepper does taste hey, more like man. regular Dr. Pepper. I mean, this is important. It's important enough for us all to take a vote on it. Let's take one. The way I see it is we can all just stay here and we can defend ourselves. Now, can't we, hot shot? Well, that comes out of nowhere. I said, hot shot. Don't call me hot shot. I'll call you any damn thing I like. But mostly hot yeah, shot. pretty bad. The radio says the high country's been evacuated. Now, I'm with Steve. 
We move fast and we get down. And I'm with Steve. Mr. Buckner, as far as I'm concerned, you're still calling the shots here. Something okay, Bill Buckner never heard. We're gonna make camp here tonight. First thing in the morning, we're gonna gather as much food as we can. The George W. is strong with him. Now that's it. Let's make camp. That's sign language for hot shot. <laughs> <laughs> of course. My God, the animals built a house. Ugh, I hate when B-movies rely on sexy bedroom shots like this. I gotta let you go back to sleep. Thanks, Tiger, you wore me out. Okay. Okay. Early in the morning. A lot of Barneys died to make that robe. Broadway Joe ain't here, but old man Tucker's available. Uh, sir, your brother is dead. Funny line about Broadway Joe, though. <laughs> hey, Bird, is that you? What's up? I got the army here. It's really hit the fan on this ozone business. Tucker, animals going crazy everywhere. Rabbits are trying to eat tricks. It's madness. Above 5,000 feet. We got to clear everybody out. The campers, the cabins, the whole damn town. Yeah, maybe not the Rowan? camper people. We're going to start with the town right now, tonight. Now! Hell, it's after midnight. You can't drag people out like that. You scare them half to death. I'm fairly sure my wife's dead already. You get Rita down to the city and you get your tail here now. Uh, okay. Okay. Didn't even get to do my hilarious Broadway Joe sign-off. Oh, well, his loss. Well, Wilford Brimley's out there doing his maiden call again. I told you I'm not interested, Wilford. Bluer than an episode of Silk Stockings in here. That phone is damn peculiar. Well, reckon it's time we can see this town of nature. Huh? We had a good run. Sounds like Rena got bored and turned on the bed's magic fingers without him. Oh, wait. Did I forget to lock the basement cage that our secret half-man, half-raccoon son lives in? <laughs> I really hope Leslie Nielsen's on the other side of that door waiting to call him a hot shot. Oh, why couldn't I have been the gruff but lovable father figure in an 80s sitcom instead? Well, hang on. This was a bathroom yesterday. Well, nothing. Nothing. Now, what was it my deputy said about evacuating the whole town immediately? Ah, who can remember? Time for some food. Ah, nothing like an entire spiral sliced honey baked ham for a midnight snack. Yeah, when martial law is declared, you want a leader who goes right into Dagwood Bumstead mode. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm like 80% sure those rats weren't there when we put it in the fridge. Hey, thanks for the bread. How about a little spicy mustard? Whoa! <laughs> that meat must have been full of some top-shelf steroids. Wow! Global warming makes rats fly. It's just science, people. <laughs> Knife made a weird sound. He would have thrown a pineapple pie, but they don't really exist. Damn it, Doc! Get out of here! Yeah, throw some bread at me, you coward. Rena! Rena! Rena, football's my favorite sport, but that's not important right now. What is it? 
shut up. It's just the rats. The rats have gone crazy. Now, come on. Ah, what husband hasn't done the rats have gone crazy talk with his wife at some point? <laughs> biggest evacuation the town's ever seen, except the one that occurred after the sheriff's last eight-pound midnight snack. It's gonna blow! Please load all your belongings on the back of the truck and drive them gradually out of town. This is standard. The animals are attacking because of UV rays protocol. the National Guard get tired of responding to every low-grade monster attack? Aw, mutant bats are attacking Denver again. Can't we ever just fight Russians or something? Only drove through three farmer's markets on the way here. Tucker, I don't like going down without you. Yeah, I know. Usually our going down is mutual. Yep. Keep your windows rolled up. (laughs) Stay in line with the others, and when you get to the motel, you call me and let me know you're okay. But don't open the bottled waters. They charge like ten bucks for those. I'll get you. All right, Tucker. All right. Now, don't worry, Air. All right. Have some face blood and rat hair to remember me by. (laughs) Well, he's toast. Off to Fleet Week, baby. I'm here now, so just uh, keep doing what you're doing. Great, glad I came. All right, gentlemen, you've all been assigned numbers. numbers what? Wait what just a minute. Here's Ugliest a Manning brother is in charge now. To the vehicle in an orderly fashion. Excuse me. Attempt to avert panic. Is he about the buses? Okay, you all have your numbers, and I don't expect to have any trouble from you. We have enough fright. What in the world happened to you? Did Rena get into the PCP again? Damn rats. Well, hey, listen, Tucker. Crack of dawn, we hit those mountains and pull everybody out of there. Even that freak Yule Gibbons. Up in the high peaks. Uh, I had a feeling something bad was going to happen. I just know it. Yeah, every old cop's got a certain day of the animal's intuition. How many times has Leslie Nielsen called this fire a hot shot? Ah, his long con to steal a small amount of firewood is paying off. You got some more torches. Almost time to chase Frankenstein. Ah, will these be enough? Well, they ought to be. Do you think they'll help? Oh, sure. All animals are afraid of fire. What time do you have? Um, we have 35 minutes left. He's cleaning his glasses, so you know he's smart. I feel like every animal out there is watching us. And it's really turning me on. Me too. What I don't understand is why. Hey, I wish I knew. Let me uh, wipe my glasses some more and I'll figure it out. How did they get those food containers open? Simple. Engineering skill learned from evolutionary adaptation. Yeah, animals have been learning to open Tupperware for thousands of years. Roy Moore has cancer, doesn't he? Gee, I don't know, Terry. I think so. A uh, quick follow-up. Who are they talking about, and why do they think he has cancer? <laughs> I don't. And all the geniuses in my field. He said he just played one season too many. He said the same thing about Ted Danson on Becker. Ooh. Oh, what a shame. To me, a young man like that. Huh? Firm yet supple oh, buttocks. Oh, <laughs> shame. You know, the book I read said something about scientists... Being cold and calculating. I read that book, too. Yeah, we get it. You're smart. (laughs) I didn't believe it either. (laughs) Okay, smarmy, let's get those glasses back on. Hot shot. (sighs) Kimosabi. Hot shot. (laughs) She's dreaming up more random questions to ask Professor Glasses. People seem to think I have cancer, but why? I feel fine. 
Uh, and I'm just a backpack. Uh, what the hell did you pan over to me for? Got to admit, he does kind of sleep like a hotshot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if this campfire scene doesn't go blazing saddles pretty soon, we're all going to fall asleep. Dreaming up a bold new ad campaign for Lunchables. Oh, sleeping with a belt on? He is tough. What? The cat takes orders from a bird? This defies all known cartoon law. <laughs> Man, the fanciest feast of all. <laughs> oh, my glasses are getting dirty. Oh, hell yeah, we got ourselves a good old fashioned torch fight. Uh, are you guys technically mountain lions or cougars or pumas or panthers or are those the same thing? Uh, honestly, even we're not sure. Hey, they have more names than pancakes do. And they're off. Yeah, their day of the animal shift just ended and, and the hawk's too cheap to pony up for union overtime. Mr. Shed, Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Except some weird kid is bugging me. They're not supposed to attack in groups. Yeah, we don't have enough fire. That's what it is, not enough fire. Yeah, we should have stayed awake on watch. Don't give me that. I was awake. But the hawk this slipped me a 20 to this. keep quiet. Where are the helicopters you promised us? Where are they, Mom? <laughs> Where are they? Enough. Yeah, how can we defend ourselves without weapons, Buckner? Enough! Okay, now this feels like a real family camping trip. Oh, the screaming. And yelling isn't going to help any of us. Meanwhile, Leslie Nielsen is setting up a giant megaphone for screaming and yelling. <laughs> it's going to be dawn in about 30 minutes. So please tell me somebody brought the tiny blowtorch for making some real traditional creme brulee. And food. Sometimes I feel like the only one here with a proper respect for Western wear. Just relax. <laughs> Just relax. Yep, let's all lay down and go to sleep real peaceful. Like, worked out great the last couple times. Another campfire. Maybe the animals are just hoping to score some s'mores. How strange. I killed the man, and yet I still feel nothing. And now the rocks will come to life because, uh, you know, people don't cut up their six pack rings enough. I don't know. Maybe you're allergic to the sun. The sun? How come I wasn't allergic to it in Beverly Hills or the Riviera? It's poor people's sun. It's different. He just told some lichen to stop being so damn lazy. Good day. <laughs> Fun. Uh, by the way, sepsis is setting in on the guide's abdominal gash. I thought it was a snake. <laughs> yeah, I climbed a mountain. Another one. <laughs> I might have cancer. Yay. Hey, Mr. Santi, I think I see one. An empty Snickers wrapper we can lick. Easy. Easy. Look for this. And a big old trout pulls a candy roux on him. <laughs> Ouch. Wowie. Right up there. Your doctorate is in holding fish, so you're the only man for this job. All right. 
<laughs> oh, damn it, Andy Daly. Get it together, man. I call this fish loss support group to order. Pack up all the food we can carry. We leave now, we can get down in two days. Ah, uh, here comes the vote of confidence. <laughs> I've been thinking. Oh, boy. After that attack last night, I think we should all go up to the Ranger Tower where Frank went. Can it, Jensen? No, you can it. You're not the big mocker anymore. I say we go up to the tower. The big what, Mr. Jensen? Big mocker. Boss, Professor, advertising executive talk. We do chicken right. You were the head of this thing at the start. That's when it was a game, you understand? A simple, safe amusement park game called Survival. Make your point. The point is, it's not a game anymore. Ollie, Ollie, oxen free. Hell, I could take care of us better than the hot shot has done. Use your head. The only way we're going to get out of this is if we stay together. Oh, man. Let Preaching unity? You. He's hot done shot. for. I use my head all the time. A lot of people use their butts. Now it's 30 miles back mm -hmm. down there in the valley and 15 miles up to the Ranger Tower. I say we annex it's all of it! miles up to the tower. The radio said evacuate, not go back up. We're going down the valley, Mr. Jensen. And I'd like you to join us. Well, I'm not through talking yet, Hotshot. The Hotshot bit is played out! The name is Steve, Mr. Jensen. <laughs> and did it ever occur Steve. to you... If Frank and Mandy hadn't made it that range of station, there'd be a chopper here now. Mm, slappable points. So that's what you think now, huh? Like when you told them to go on, they'd be okay. You don't think that now, huh? There was going to be food at Devil's Drop. Where's that food now, huh? What the world needs now, huh? Is love I'm sweet love, power. huh? <laughs> How about you, Denny? Steve, I, I think he's right. Damn yeah, right, I'm right. How about you, pretty lady? I think you're crazy. Well, I'll just play to my typecasted strengths then. All right, folks. Helicopter up at the Ranger Tower tonight. Back in town. Warm food. Warm bed. I was going to join me. No, I think. Yeah, Beverly Hills, your day of drive, really whatever. Good idea. I think it's a terrible idea. Hey, come on. I think Mr. Jensen makes sense. No, let's stay with Steve. Come on. Let's go. Sweetheart, you stay with Hotshot here. And you'll end up being Bear Bait. Bear Bait. Jellystone Park's most popular adult I'll magazine. Take this time, Kimasabi. Leave your packs if you want to. We leave now, we'll be there by nightfall. If we spot a burial ground to desecrate midnight at the latest. John, come on, we're going. John! Please John's come. had a clothespin on his you wiener think. this entire time, hasn't he? Going, <laughs> come on, pick up the pack, let's go! I'll never forget you, Syrian guy playing an Indian. We'll move! Oh. John! Mother, sorry. Go, go already. Old saying, my friend. You're bad at your job. You can't say fools <laughs> from themselves. I can't drag him with me, damn it. Stupid paparazzi, leave us alone! Hey, Pathfinder. Either way. Head on down that way, football star. Hope you kept up with your tire runs. I'll be timing you. Be nice if the animals used the uprising just as an excuse to get the woodland jug band back together. No, screw you, Jeff. People who wear wolf shirts are not doing so ironically. Whoa. Actually, I dropped the cougar. It's just Mellencamp now. Ready, camera three. Action. The bear and the mountain lion were like De Niro and Pacino and Heat, never on the set at the same time. Agents worked it out. All right, that's lunch, people. Back here, too. Uh-oh, the little yodeling hikers will fall off unless the contestant guesses right on the cans of bumblebee tuna. 
Uh, time to remove this 10 ounce albatross from my neck. Hey, you guys need a corporate mascot? Maybe a bank or a brand of gas? Even home insurance, anything. Ooh, sounds like Joan Embry's having a little trouble in the green room, Ed. <laughs> hey oh Very good, sir. Let's go. I think there's ozone this way. Just keep holding in those greenhouse gases and retain as much rainforest as possible. Hikers soon discover their greatest threat, shoddy garden masonry. Um, no, sir. I didn't know all the strangely unique ways you can stain a pair of pants. It's very impressive. Look at that, baby. I told you we'd find a way out. Come on. We're safe. There's people here. Now, you keep quiet while I explain to the nice folks how my wife was murdered by vultures and I forged a tight bond with a feral runaway. <laughs> we should be rescued in no time. Well, I think first impressions are pretty much unsalvageable. See? Hmm, Camp Crystal Lake. That's like a friendly place. Hey, anybody here? Anyone here? Or are you off doing another load of laundry? Hello? Anybody here? It'd be great if a hungover Rachel Carson stumbled out of one of those tents. So sick of birds. It's just that nobody's around. <laughs> <laughs> Never let insanity crush your dream of being both Colonel Kurtz and a drum major. Come on, let's move it. Heads up, I'm ditching the pants on mile three. Where are the warm beds and food you promised, Mr. Advertising Executive? You know we would have been better off staying with Buckner. Well, you're not with Hotshot Buckner now. You're with me, Miss Beverly Hills, bitch. Uh. So shut up and keep moving. <laughs> so that's the twist. He's the hero. I don't think that he's... You're going to tell me about survival? Leave my boy alone! Well, you just you shut leave up. my boy alone! Shut up, you little cockroach! Or I'll shove you up the cliff! Leslie Nielsen will return in Disney's Mr. Magoo coming this holiday season. <laughs> How are we doing over with this group? Any recent threats of child murder? Up there, there's an old mine shaft. There's bound to be leftover rations from the last cave-in. Watch out, don't slip. Oh, hurry up. Thank you very the producers of Day of the Animals would like to thank the Walking Stick Council for their generous support. Come on, it's really gonna open up. Now begins the day of the old-timey gold prospectors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Now the weather's affected by the ozone layer, too? When does it end? Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. They're gonna have a romantic oh, kiss like in the notebook, I can just tell. We're going around in circles, you! Stop hurting my mother! <laughs> That's for not telling me what GORP stands for. Yeah. All right, Jensen, enough's enough. What, if somebody dies so you can take charge? We're not going any further. We need rest. And as long as my backpack's on down, it's... Oh, God! You lily livered punk. I'm running this camping trip. I decide when we tell scary stories. what I want to give you. Understand that? Stop it, please! Please. And right now, I want that. Oh, please be a discarded shirt. Please be a discarded shirt. Come on, baby. <laughs> uh, a real man. No. Oh, you're crazy! No! Jensen! I'll kill you! With kindness! Eventually, whatever's good for you! <laughs> oh, Jensen, I never liked your work on the Smuckers account. Ugh. Oh, my God. 
look on my works, ye mighty, and despair, for I am your scout leader! All these lightning strikes, the Count must be doing his taxes or something. <laughs> Two! Two thousand dollars deduction on the amortus cost of upgrades to my infrastructure. You're thinking about the others, aren't you? Yeah. If by the others you mean two of the three Charlie's Angels. Do you really think Jen's gonna be able to take care of them? I don't know. Came up with a nickname Hotshot, so it must be pretty clever. Exactly. And that ozone thing might be going further than just animals. It's gonna start affecting vegetables, maybe even minerals next. Why not? While they gently speculate about the fate of the others, Leslie Nielsen is currently drinking blood from the head wound he gave to the old lady. <laughs> Reporting about life, not experiencing it. And most of it for Highlights magazine. Kind of a waste. Now it's like that uh, reports about me. And I've wasted so much time. Yeah, speaking of, maybe cut this scene short. I'm really scared. Hey, come on now, come on. We'll be okay. It's like I've Both told the people who've already died. You'll be okay. Feel safe. How come you know so much? Well, now. How could I explain it in a way a woman could understand? The nation's part of my course in advance, Woodlord. You ready to sign up? <laughs> yes, Professor. Ah, uh, nothing says romance like, I haven't showered for three days and smell like Andre the Giant's crotch. The leg's getting worse, isn't it? No, it'll be all right. <laughs> he has the same cancer as Lisa's mom. You just, just don't worry about it. You want to hear one of my lectures? One of my short ones. No. That's good. It'll take your bite off your leg. Oh, you're bleeding out of your femoral artery? Here, have a lecture. You know all living things die. You hear a lot of laughs. And everything evolves in and out. Uh -huh. Are you sure you're a professor? 155 million years ago, there were no animals. Just insects and reptiles, that's all. That's big news, prof. You know, those famous non-animals, insects and reptiles? I know. I know what you're trying to tell me. You do? You're trying to tell me that I shouldn't give a damn that cancer's eating my bones away. You got all that from his gibberish? He's trying to tell you there is no answer. No fair, no unfair. You just accept. Accept? Jeez, he ran into a pack of Darwinian nihilists. Accept. Why don't we just kill ourselves and be done with it then? I was thinking more German cannibally, fry your penis and eat it in front of you kind of thing. <laughs> Oh, uh, R.I.P. Uh, good lighting, I guess? <laughs> they all look traumatized. Leslie Nielsen must have shown them an early cut of Dracula dead and loving it. complain to the management. Dave the Animals will now take a five-minute break while Roy Hobbs carves Wonder Boy. Or pray. There's a god left up there to believe in. There is, and I insist you choose between comic and serious performance. My father who art in heaven, you made a jackass out of me for years. See, this isn't helping. <laughs> it's never been you for me. Melville's god, that's a god I believe in. Jeez. You see what you want, you take it. You take it. And I want the last nutter butter. I'm gonna do just that. I won you, you along to me. Please, please don't. I killed a man for you. Yeah, I tried to find that on a Valentine's Day card for my wife, but nope. Now get up! Get up! Get up! Get up even more! No! 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 Oh, 
Lee's put on those full body condoms from Naked Gun. You know, guys, if you do find yourself shirtless, screaming, go ahead and kill me, it might be time to make some changes. Maybe join a bowling league or... This isn't about the hunting anymore, is it? What? No, no, no. You've got the wrong guy. Oh, oh well, if you can't be with the one you love. No, no, <laughs> no! no! <laughs> well, we were uh, we were joking, but now I'm starting to wonder if the bear on the hunter joke is actually happening here. Wow. I think so. <laughs> Ugh. Day of the Animals is the worst holiday. I refuse to even celebrate it. If anyone at work even says Happy Day of the Animals to me, I'm filing a complaint with HR. Bear, 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 bear. <laughs> Well, like I said, mister, you won't kill me because you haven't got the guts. Oh, my little cockroach. Road. Ah, hey, remember those other times when I was 100% certain we were saved, but then we weren't? Uh huh. This time we're 100% saved. Uh, why do I bother? <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Idiot. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you ever saw? Hey, I consider that a direct insult to Fred Sanford. Ah, oh, my God. Look at him. The place is swarming with him. I'm shocked by this animal misbehavior. Isn't this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Oh, come on, please! Hello? Hello? Hello, anybody home? At this point, the little girl's wondering if it's possible to make a mountain lion her legal guardian. Safer. Mister, why do you pause to put a new rip in your shirt every five minutes or so? Shh, 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 shh. Between us. <sighs> Say, there's the town's help desk right there. Let's ask the friendly agent. Ah, please. Hello? Hello, is anybody help here? I've got a sick child. Please! We need help! I need a phone, a doctor! Please! Terrible plea for assistance, but not a bad audition for a streetcar named Desire. Stop it! Stop it now! Stop it! I can't stand this. You're a bad girl. Bad. Now you just wait for me here, you understand? And don't you move! Alec Baldwin is taking notes on child rearing. No! No! Oh, God, I'm sorry. Grown men shouldn't wear rugby shirts. I see that sorry. now, honey. <laughs> I'll never leave you anywhere again. I swear it. Never again. Now stay here while I ask that pack of wolverines for directions. Uh, oh, come man. On. <laughs> and that's how they became the crime-fighting duo Girl and the Idiot. It's gonna be okay. It doesn't matter. My car's right up ahead there in the next block by the hotel. Gonna be all right. Would you stop saying that it's not all right? Hey! Ah, it's just a bobcat at the wheel, angry that he can't get it started. Ah, son of a. Hey, buddy, you got a can of ether I can spray into the carburetor? Wow. <laughs> bobcat. Bobcat. Oh, come on. Get out your big book of screenwriting. Look under the entry, repeated beats, and there's a picture of this scene. How did this also go wrong? <laughs> oh, 
please cut to the bare and naked Leslie Nielsen reclining against a tree smoking a cigarette. Not bad, hotshot. That saloon had to close because they couldn't meet the public's insatiable demand for pineapple pie. (laughs) Oh, they wired my lips. Help me. Well, honey, it's been a tough day. I'm going to take you to a petting zoo. Radio snaps on and starts playing Zeppelin's Black Dog. They change the station. It's TV on the radios. Wolf like me. Then a bear pries open the door, kills them both, and changes the station to national public radio. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Listen to me. The face of a girl who is definitely not listening to him. Leave me alone and all that. But I've got to. Just for a minute, you understand? I've got to get to my car. You see that little blue one over there? Oh, yeah, that wimpy POS, no self respecting man would drive? Yeah, I see it. You've got to wait in here until I get back, no matter what. Right here, with the doors and windows shut tight the way they are right now. And you mustn't follow me. Wasn't going to. No matter how much you've grown attached to me. Haven't, not a bit. No matter how much you've admired my strong, decisive leadership. Up, you whiz, pretty much everything down your leg. What are you, no, ah, yeah, yeah, you misread the situation very badly. My friend Cujo would like a word with you. I'll install your sheetrock badly, dog. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and rip me with that rammer. We're revving across the ruts. <laughs> Just gently back into my hissing, rattling car. I can't imagine that'll be an issue. Oh, God, dog, help me out here. Ah. Oh, my God, this is shaping up to be one hell of a Monday. E.T. when they put a wig on him. Oh, it's that girl. Hello, girl. And just when they thought they were safe, they were set upon by angry spruce bark beetles. Let's rest a minute. Just rest here and accept that we're all dying. Would you oh, stop that doing that? Man. How far? Oh, about seven, eight miles. Oh, they're not lying. It's just going to stop being a film and rest here a while. (laughs) Thank you. But let's dial back the action. The audience can only take so much. I'm not thirsty. There's a lot of backwash in it now. I mean, a lot. (sighs) <sighs> yep, movie, if you ever do decide to start again, we'll be here. Yeah. <sighs> Canteen toss! Sorry, just trying to get something going here. Oh, appreciate it. Get in and out. We're going to make it. It doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, once you've tossed the canteen, the rest of existence just seems kind of hollow. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Come on, let's go. Oh, you sure? I I don't think we've caught our breath yet. Yeah, hang out for a while. My blood pressure is still sky high after seeing that canteen toss. Thank, Thank you. And this, right here, guys, is still a better helicopter stunt than the one seen in Blue Thunder. Thunder. Blue Thunder. I'm coming, Mr. General. I'm coming. Mom! Look! John! John, come back! You know how I inexplicably hate when you get 11 feet ahead of me! John! Careful! 
Give. Now the wolves have finally had enough crap from Liam Neeson. I hope at the end Milo and Otis show up and cut someone with a switchblade. Um, Baja Man, anything to say here? Oh, yeah. Well, then do it. Okay. Here's the B-side to our new concept album about a world ruled by robots. Oh, damn it, Baja Man, you... Baja Man! Dogs go crazy for the great taste of whatever's inside a helicopter. I guess. Billy. Cut back to rugby shirt guy still getting bitten by snakes. What the? How am I still alive? (laughs) We'll rest here tonight. Uh, This is them not taking a break. It's pretty much indistinguishable from them taking a break. Shirley would say the Beverly Hilton, it isn't. <laughs> would Shirley say that? Oh, my God, she wouldn't. She is too much. Too much. Mike, you don't know who Shirley is, uh, do you? No, no clue. Yeah, didn't think so. Hey, Mike, you want to come in? Sure. Why couldn't this have happened when Ernest went to camp? Why? I wonder how much they charge a night here. Not too much. Oh, look. There's a note on this. Birds rule, humans drool. You gotta accept, Prof. Check out some of the other cabins. Maybe we should buy these. Sell them to those tiny house weirdos. (laughs) Well, well, damn. Never seen a dog throw his own doghouse before. So you led us to a camp that's run by German shepherds. Today, <laughs> the Pomeranians, huh? This is for stealing our testicles! Come on, bro! You know, it's sad, but this is exactly what happens when drug-sniffing dogs get hooked. And the frustrating part is, even if they defeat these evil dogs, they'll all still go to heaven. Okay, is there anyone here we could use to distract them? Someone who might be a little closer to death than the rest of us. I'm not pointing fingers. Too bad she can't help because of her ovaries and stuff. Yeah. They should definitely put this in their Yelp reviews. Like, don't even worry about being mean. This is just like that scene when Air Bud attacked that guy with Lou Gehrig's disease. (laughs) Yep. Wow, they are just silently humping like crazy out there. Well, thank God. They must have heard a refrigerator door opening somewhere. Daniel? I feel so close to you guys right now. But they're dogs. Just dogs. Hmm. Maybe we can make snossages out of tree bark like the Indians. Tell you what. You better get out of here before they get back. Careful. Everyone knows German shepherds were bred for hide and seek. Ah! 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 Ah!
Bad dog, sit, stay. <laughs> Some Foley guy had to sit down and think about how to do dog getting punched in the face. Dog frayed his bolo tie. Now he's angry. Sorry, can't help. Dander allergies. Seems like you guys got it under control. Bye. Yeah, because dogs uh, can't swim? Water! Get in the water! She can't swim! Well, we can't just leave her! We'll need her for bait! What about Roy and the professor? You had it. <laughs> I assume. Wow. Mmm, kibbles and bits of your spine! Ooh, there we go. This raft's a rockin', don't come knockin', because you're about to have your face eaten by angry hounds. Come on. Get off the raft, Daniel. Yeah, get off the raft, Daniel, because we've established that dogs can't swim. <laughs> Look up ahead, there's a strange little hillbilly boy with a banjo. We're saved! Oh God, the tadpoles are attacking now. It tickles like crazy, make it stop. There's only one way to prevent this dark future. Keep using aerosols and wipe out every single animal on the planet. Okay, and for today, the trees have planned to do a The Happening. <laughs> Ugh, I hate all these new artisanal butchers. <laughs> Hello, stewardess. There's a shrew attacking my loafers. Mama! Beth, wake up! Mama! Look what's happened! I got my first armpit hair! I'm a man! Very funny, you little jerk. Just like your father with his dead animal pranks. They're all dead. What killed him, Mom? Well, it's just like your dog at home, sweetie. They died because you're bad and God is punishing you. A guy will give us top dollar for these pelts. Based all units, go ahead and begin carpet bombing the affected area. Command base to unit three. Situation report, please. Dead animals and looters everywhere. This place looks like World War Three hit it. Except obviously the gophers would be fighting on our side in World War Three. Are dying. Human survivors appear to be immune. Continue mop up and report survivors immediately. Roger, base. Three clear. Base to chopper two. They look like a little parade float of baked second. potato enthusiasts. We found an erect chopper. We're bringing them in now. 10-4, check them into state general on touchdown. They're trying to find out why some of the people have immunity. Oh, God, don't tell me the damn vegans are immune. <laughs> damn looters. Should have known better than to come in here with all these animals. Hell of a price to pay. Thank God this thing didn't go on any longer. There wouldn't be anything. No strip malls, Starbucks, Walmart, pop-up Halloween stores. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Just something that happens in nature when a screenwriter runs out of time to think of a better ending. 
Hey, Commander, looks like something's moving over there in the deep. Bring me the flamethrower. Unit 3, back to base. Just found a little six or seven year old girl. Near shock, but soon she'll be okay. And that little girl grew up to be Michael Vick. Well, meanwhile, Huck and Jim passed a most peculiar bunch of sleepy strangers. You know, at least one of them must have, you know, wet the raft. Sure. Oh, oh. No, I have a Harvey Dent tan. Oh, cool, the apocalypse. Now people will actually listen when I'm telling them to eat pine cones. <laughs> oh, I was having a wonderful dream about a bear making tender ursine love to Leslie Nielsen. Looks like we're going to be okay. Best kind of love. It's over. Now I'd like to talk to you about getting my refund. I said no refunds. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Animals are bad, so you should never go hiking. That, that was the message, right? <laughs> it was the dawning of the day of the animals. Day of the animals. The animals are total jerks. <laughs> That's the message I got. Thanks for joining us on this harrowing journey over the river and through the woods, everyone. And if you got this riff anywhere other than our site, we ask that you please head on over to rifttracks.com slash donate and make it right. You never know when the ozone layer will uh, fluctuate or something. It'll be too late. And remember, folks, only punch dogs who punch you first. Were you Rick's time? Copyright by Rift Tracks, all rights reserved.